Hey Luxers, there's a famous saying, penny wise, pound foolish, and its meaning is simple. We often work our asses off to save a few cents, but don't take into account the bigger picture of what it's costing us. Poor people try to save a little money to accumulate a little wealth, but often those money-saving choices are not actually saving at all. In fact, they're costing money. So be sure to watch until the end to understand the important lesson of this video. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Number 1. Buying Cheaply I see it, I like it, I want it, I buy it. Well, Aluxers, that's all fine and good, except if you keep buying cheap quality clothing, it's not going to last you very long. After a couple of washes, your clothes will start to fall apart, the fabric will stretch, colors will fade, and before you know it, you can't wear that item anymore. Poor people think they're saving money by buying the cheaper options, but when you have to keep buying it, it ends up costing the same as buying the good quality item in the first place. It would be more beneficial to save that money and buy once. You'll look better in the item, it will feel better on you, and it will last longer. Number 2. Buying a bigger house further away from the city Hey Luxers, let's paint a picture. Steve and Kyle both have $100,000 to buy a home. Steve decides to buy a bigger, modern house further away from the city, while Kyle opts for a smaller home in the city that needs a bit of work. Here's a breakdown of the cost. Steve has $100,000. His house costs $75,000. He buys new furniture to look the part for $25,000. Kyle has $100,000. The house costs $95,000. Kyle doesn't worry to buy new furniture and makes do with what he already has. Steve spends a fortune getting himself to and from work. He wastes time every day during the commute. Sadly, his house doesn't gain much value, and when it's time to sell, he makes little profit. What Steve saved on the initial purchase is lost on other expenses. The rich guy in this case, Kyle, slowly renovates his home. He doesn't have to spend a lot of money on gas and has plenty more time to do those renovations. Eventually, he ends up selling his home for a tidy profit and has made a sound investment. Number 3. Skipping Routine Medical Checks one of the biggest mistakes poor people make is not going for their regular checkups. Whether it's the dentist, the optometrist, or the gynecologist, these should always be a priority. As A.J. Reb Materi, a Canadian church official, once said, So many people spend their health gaining wealth and then have to spend their wealth to regain their health. Here's a typical scenario. A poor person chooses not to go for a dentist checkup because they don't have the extra money. Over time, they experience the worst toothache you could imagine and have to go to the dentist. The dentist finds several cavities, a rotten tooth, and gingivitis. The bill is now thousands of dollars, and that person is now out more money than if they had just gone for their regular checkups. Number 4. Buying on Sale Sale items are like clickbait. You see bright red and your buying instinct just kicks in. Plus, you're saving money, right? Wrong. When you buy something on sale, sure it costs less than regular price, however money has still left your wallet and it hasn't been invested or saved properly. Hey Luxers, be honest. Have you ever bought something on sale and then taken the money you saved and invested it properly? The money saved just disappeared and you have nothing to show for it. Poor people see a sale sign and they just buy because, well, they're saving money. And Aluxers, we're not saying to avoid all sales, hell no. But be sure the item you purchased was already something you were planning to buy, and you had a solid idea of its cost. So when you spot it on sale, bonus, you have saved some money. Number 5. Incurring Unnecessary Penalties or Fines Hey Luxers, we guarantee you that your government or municipality is not out to target the poor. All they want is everybody who drives a vehicle to have an up-to-date paid-for vehicle license. Or if you have a TV, some countries require you to pay a TV license. When you don't renew your licenses, you get penalized, and the fine received is far greater than the amount it would have cost to renew the license in the first place. And you're not that poor that you can't even pay attention, so listen carefully to our next suggestion. Number 6. Doing it yourself when you don't know what you're doing 
In order to save on hiring a professional, poor people like to attempt the job themselves. As noble as that sounds, it can lead to way bigger problems. These words would resonate with a poor person. I don't always DIY, but when I do, I drill into a water pipe at 6 p.m. the night before a public holiday. Number 7. Obtaining a cool secondhand car to bargain. We've heard it ad nauseum how new cars lose so much value and it's better to buy a second-hand car, but there is a stark difference between buying a reputable brand that is safe and buying a car just because you think it's cool. With used car purchases, if you don't do your homework properly, it could cost a fortune in the long run. Poor people will skip having their car checked by a mechanic to save on costs and then buy a vehicle based on looks. Without proper checks being done, the maintenance and repairs of the vehicle can really mount up over time. Number 8. Buying in Bulk Super deal, unbelievable savings, and buy two, get one free are all great at catching your attention and making you think you're really saving some cash dollars. However, poor people end up wasting money by doing this because they don't need 40 cans of tuna or 30 bags of spaghetti. It's even worse when it comes to fresh produce or perishables. Stores need to turn over stock quickly, so they create these unbelievable deals and you end up taking 10 bunches of spinach home. How much of that will you genuinely eat and how much is going to go to waste? And there are other consequences of bulk buying. The surplus really takes up a lot of space. You also tend to eat more because if you've got 10 packets of biscuits you've got on special, you're likely going to eat 10 packets of biscuits you got on special. Number 9. Eating unhealthily and buying convenient foods Virginia Woolf once said, One cannot think well, love well, sleep well if one has not dined well. This is a hugely negative factor influencing the poor. Dietary choices affect our entire being. We can't perform well if we've been eating processed foods, convenient food, or takeaways. There are several socioeconomic factors that explain why poor people gravitate toward foods that are high in fat, salt and sugar, and low in nutritional value. The obvious reason is that it's cheaper, but there's also a not-so-obvious reason. Making fresh, healthy food from scratch is time-consuming. Poor people are often working several jobs to make ends meet, trapped in a financial, mental, and emotional crisis that requires every ounce of energy to survive the day. So by the end of it, it's a case of buying whatever is convenient. Number 10. Gambling, get-rich-quick schemes, and lotto tickets Tatama Chance, Tatama Millions is the slogan for the South African Lotto, and the slogan says it all. Take a chance and you could take millions, but it's a chance. According to the North American Association of State and Provincial Lotteries, in America, more money is spent on lotto tickets than any other form of entertainment. By comparison, in 2014, $70.1 billion was spent on lottery tickets, compared to $63 billion spent on sports tickets, movie tickets, music, books, and video games. The publication The Atlantic further explains that those that spent the most money on tickets are on the lower end of the socioeconomic spectrum. Which brings us to the end today, Aluxers. What do you believe poor people ultimately waste money on when they think they're saving? We love hearing from you Aluxers in the comments. And now that we're just about ready to wrap it up, it's time for your bonus. The most important lesson from this video. Poor people think they save money when they trade the future for the present. They opt for a cheaper alternative today that will cost them a lot in the future either to maintain or replace. So next time you're planning your finances, ask yourself, are you putting your future in trouble? Will it save you money now or in the future? Until next time, Aluxers, remember to hit this video with a thumbs up and subscribe to Alux for more fabulous videos every day.